So today's August 28th and a toolkit that was initiated in August of 2010 letting people know about the role of overdose prevention including the role of naloxone has come out from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Service Administration and the White House Office on Drug Strategy. So this is extremely exciting. There's one for patients, one for overdose survivors, one for prescribers, one for first responders, none for drug treatment programs, which was the initial idea, but this is very exciting. It doesn't quite get to promoting putting naloxone into the hands of people at risk of witnessing an overdose, but it does suggest it be prescribed to people at risk of having an overdose from their, their own medications. So I think this is a really big step for the U.S. government in supporting these programs, and I hope that next year we'll support just fully community-based naloxone. What's all the stuff saying? Um, I haven't had a chance to go all through it, but it does describe the actions of naloxone. It promotes that first responders, which includes, of course, ambulances, and not all ambulances here have it, but police officers, fire, firemen, all sorts of people should have naloxone. It describes how to use it. One thing that I'm very excited about is it tells how medical people can bill insurance companies for the counseling it requires. That's unfortunately a very important part of practicing medicine here, so that's very exciting. Um, I haven't gone through the part for survivors, but I, I think it probably promotes drug treatment as well. I'm hoping that it heavily promotes the role of opioid maintenance with buprenorphine or methadone, since those are really major preventers of overdose. Major, they play major roles in the prevention of overdose. <laughs>